Zebby's Little Audios. <laughs> Baby? Hey, are you ready? Come on, sweetie. We're gonna go see Grandma Zebby. Do you want to go see Grandma Zebby? Oh, you know she always has some goodies for you. <laughs> Come on, get your shoes on and we'll go. What? Your shoes untied. Oh. You never learned how to tie your shoes. Oh, baby. You know what? I think now is the perfect time for me to teach you how to tie your shoes. Okay. I have right here. This is one of Daddy's shoes. I'm going to show you exactly what to do on this shoe. Okay? First of all, I'm going to untie it. You know how to untie your shoes. Pull the string here. And then there we go. Simple as that. And now my shoe's untied. So, Daddy does a little method here. He takes his shoes. He takes the laces. He will cross them over. See like this? Now they're crossed. He'll take the left, the left shoelace, and he will put it underneath the right one underneath the crossing the right one and then you can just pull them both together so that they're crossed over that's how you get your shoe nice and tight so from there you're going to take the right lace you're going to put it in a knot position like this you're going to make a little loop with it loop it and then you're going to swoop it and then you're going to pull you want me to show you again? Let me show you again, baby, and then we're going to have you try it, okay? Okay, so you're going to take your shoe. You're going to cross your shoelaces. You're going to take the left shoelace, and you're going to put it under the right shoelace, underneath where you just crossed it. So it's going to make a little tiny knot, and then you tie it together like that. See how that's nice and tight? But we're not done yet. The shoe's not actually tied. It's just looped. So with the right lace, you're going to make a loop. Okay, you see that? I made like a little circle there. You're going to take the left shoelace now, and you're going to wrap it around. You're going to see what I did there? You're going to wrap it around the loop. So now you have this little lock here. But if you look here on the left shoelace, there's a little space here for me to slide the lace through. And then once we do that and tie it together, look, it's a knot. Yeah, see, it's a knot. You see, here we go. And then if you want to double knot it, which that's another complicated thing, you would take the lace. Here, I accidentally untied it. Let me just do it again real quick. There we go. You're going to take your, your loop, your loops, and the laces on each side, like so. And you're just going to cross them. Just how, just how you were making, like, the normal knot. You're just going to cross them over and pull them through. And there we go. We just double knotted the shoe. That's not coming untied. No, no. I would take a lot of messing around with to get it untied. You have to do it a certain way. Otherwise, you can't untie your shoe. <laughs> do you want to try it, baby? Here, why don't you try it, okay? Try it on Daddy's shoe, and then we're going to try it on your own shoe, okay? So what? Are, what is the first step? You cross the laces. Good job. What's the next step? Now you got it like a big X. You got the laces X'd over each other. You take the there we go. You could do the left one too, but I prefer the right. You could take the right one or the left one, and you just put it under 
and you pull them together. There we go. See what I did there? So they're nice and tight. And then you take the right one. You're going to take the right side. Make your little loop. See what, how I got a little loop in my hand? Keep that, hold, hold that there. Okay, you're going to hold that there. And you're going to take the other lace. And you're going to go over. And tie it together. Together. There we go. See, you got it. Pretty sure you got it. Yeah, look, look, that doesn't look too bad. And then you're going to go under and knot it. There we go. And then you're going to double knot it. There we go. We don't want your shoes flying off your feet now, do we? No, no. <laughs> Let's try it again. Can you do it without daddy's help? Let me see you tie your own shoe. Here, put your shoe on. Here we go, baby. Cross it under. Good. Tie it together. Good. Good. Looks like you got the hang of it. <laughs> baby, it's a little uneven, but I mean, not bad. But I think my little one would prefer if I was tying their shoe still. Right? I just want to make sure you know, just in case I'm not around to help, you know how to do it yourself. But Daddy will always be there to help you, baby. Well, at least I'll try to be. So, let me just tie your shoe for you. Cross it. Good. Loop it. Swoop it. And then you pull. Good. And then let's do that with the other shoe. You're going to cross them. You're going to go under. Loop it, swoop it, and pull. Good job. Won't Grandma be so surprised when she learns what you learned today? Yeah, are you going to tell Grandma you learned how to tie your shoes? Are you going to tell Gammy? Yeah. <laughs> She's going to be so excited. She's not even going to know what to say. Her teeth might slip out of her mouth. No, no, no. We're not talking about her teeth, not her dentures. <laughs> One more time, all right? Let's practice. Cross it underneath. Tie it together. Good. Loop it. Swoop it. And pull. There we go. It's so easy. Once you start getting it, it's just so easy, baby. You want to learn a little secret? Daddy did not learn how to tie his shoes until he was in first or second grade, I think. It took me a while. But hey, there's no shame in that. I learned. It happened. It just took me a while, but I learned how to do it myself. I was naughty when I was a kid. I used to untie my shoes and then try to tie them when I didn't know how back in first grade and I remember I was at a little desk and I I somehow tied my shoe to the desk <laughs> don't ask daddy why he did that or how he did that he does not know he does not understand he just did it but it happened and now he's he's an old man he's not old I'm not old I don't know why I said that. I'm not trying to help myself. But Daddy knows how to tie his shoes. It just took him a while, and there's nothing wrong with that. You know, sometimes, sometimes you just take a while to learn something. Sometimes you may never learn something that someone learned, you know? Like maybe riding a bike or learning how to swim. But it's all up to you and your comfort, you know? If you're not comfortable doing something, don't do it. You know, we all have experiences, we all have our limits on things. Some people won't go bungee jumping, that's for sure. Some people won't go skydiving. Some people won't even, I don't know, go fishing because they're afraid a big old fish is going to eat their hand. No, no, we don't talk about that. No, 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 no. But for right now, this is something important we'll have to learn. And 
you know, it's okay. You might forget. You might need me to reshow you later down the line. But this is what this is what you need to do to tie your shoe. You gotta cross them underneath, tie it, good job, loop it, swoop it, and then pull through the little hole underneath. There we go. And that's how you tie your shoes, babies. Okay? <laughs> Thank you for joining me, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.